it's been a really busy week and an even busier last couple of days. My office is absolutely wrote off and needs a clean. Um, right before this video, I actually needed to like clear myself some arm room because it was going to get uh, crowded. I usually have my table right here that I can move my chair over and do my work on. Um, it gives me lots of arm room and stuff like that and it actually flips open if I need more room. And it is completely full of clutter right now. It is full of my last two days worth of work. I haven't been able to organize it, so it's just a big pile of um, supplies. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, clutter everywhere. And that's my plan for as soon as I finish this video. I need to power clean my office. But I did want to get this out because it was on my agenda for today. And so I wanted to get the video recorded and I'll probably edit it up later and post it after I get everything cleaned up. So today's topic is warmers. And I'm going to be showing a couple of the warmers in person. And then I'm going to be just doing a quick um, run through of the other kinds of warmers and showing you a couple pictures of the different kinds and things like that. So in this video, I'm going to go over everything that you need to know about owning a warmer, uh, where to start, how to clean it, um, a couple tips, uh, if you're a new timer, and things like that. And I'm going to try to do it as quickly as possible because like I said, I have um, loads of stuff to do today and I have my little guy waiting for me upstairs uh, watching his movie so that I can get this work done quickly before supper. All right. So the first warmer that I'm going to actually go over is our plug-in warmers. And the reason for this is because I'm going to start at the bottom of the list. Our plug-in warmers are the cheapest and the smallest. And they're based for smaller sized areas like offices and bathrooms and foyers or porches and things like that. Or bedrooms. They work good for bedrooms too depending on the size. So this is the base of the plug-in warmer. And as you can see, I have it detached from the actual part that plugs into the wall and has the light bulb so that I can show you right from the beginning how you're going to want to attach it. And then I have a couple quick um, tricks that I want to show you about it that you might not have known. This one here is the Chasing Fireflies plug-in. We have a premium, and I guess now they're referred to as $42 warmer in the exact same style. And that one does look exactly like this, only it's a lot bigger and it wouldn't have the bottom on it. So when you first get your plug-in warmer, your nightlight warmer, uh, they're now called $24 warmers, but I'm still going to always refer to them as the plug-in warmers because that's just what they are to me. Um, it's going to come in the box in pieces. So you're going to get the main base. You're going to get the outlet area, and you're going to get the ball. So the first step is obviously to attach your bulb to your base, which is easy enough. Just screw it in. Um, this is a good time in the video that I want to point out um, something about the plug-in warmers that I get questioned about often, and that is this discoloring around where the bulb goes. People get concerned about that. That's completely normal. It does not affect your warmer. It does not cause any safety risks. And it does not require any stress, worry, or thought about it. So this will happen to every plug-in warmer. The discoloration is 100% normal. Uh, people usually panic the first time that they see it on one of their warmers and it's not necessary. So the next step is to line up the bottom of your warmer with the base. So as you can see, there's a little hook here, and that is where you're going to want to put your warmer in. Right here. You want to make sure that it's positioned. And then you're going to actually want to turn so that it stays in place. So this is what the warmer will look like when it's ready to actually be plugged in. And this is another big thing, which was the little tip I wanted to tell you guys about um, that a lot of people don't know about. And that is, if you have a tricky plug-in anywhere in your house, upside down, sideways, any different um, area, and you think that uh, you can't get a plug-in warmer, I've had so many people that have went months and months 
wishing that they had a plug-in warmer, and then they say, oh, I wish I could have that in my bathroom, but all my plugs are upside down, and I say, well, yeah, you can still have a plug-in. You just have to turn the outlet. So our warmers can accommodate any plug-in outlet. There's a button right here on every base, and when you hold that button in and you turn the warmer, it's going to lock in place to the way that your plug-in goes. So my outlets downstairs where I use this warmer actually are sideways. So I keep this warmer sideways and it will still work. So that's about all with your plug-in. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to want to put your wax in the dish, little switch here to turn it on and off, and that's how you put it together and set it to accommodate whatever plug you want to use. The next thing I want to go over is cleaning your dishes. And I'm not talking about cleaning your dishes to change your wax. I'm talking about actually cleaning your dishes. Um, how often do you need to clean your dishes without just removing the wax and starting a new one? And what are the benefits of making sure that your dish is cleaned every once in a while? So I am going to use my plug-in. And again, that's just because it's the smallest, so it's easiest for me to kind of hold and to show. Um, in the video, but you do the exact same thing for every different kind of warmer that you're going to be using. Um, before we came out with our cleaner line, I used to just use regular dish soap to do this. So if you don't have any of our cleaner on hand or any of our kitchen soap on hand, you can just use your regular dish soap. It's just going to take a little bit longer soap time than our counter cleaner does. Um, our counter cleaner does it really fast and really efficiently, so that's why I prefer to use that. So that is what I'm going to be using here in this video, and I'm actually awaiting a new bottle of counter cleaner to come in. Uh, all three of my bottles around the house are um, at the end, so it's going to take me a couple more squirts than it would you, so bear with that. Um, I also like to use cotton balls just because they are the easiest. I always have cotton balls handy to my warmers because it's what I use to um, change my wax. So I have one of these containers near every single one of my warmers in the house. Every time I buy a new warmer, I get another one of these containers and keep it somewhere where it is handy and fill it up with cotton balls so that I always have cotton balls handy and a garbage can to throw them out. So you can use your cotton ball, you can use paper towel, you can use toilet paper, you can use a cloth, whatever works for you. But like I said, my most convenient is the cotton balls because that's what I have handy. So what you're going to want to do first is you're just going to want to spray one or two sprays into your dish. And like I said, I'm going to be spraying more than one or two times just because I'm really um, at the bottom here. But for you, you really do only want to use one or two sprays because that's all you need and you don't want it to overflow and waste and be a messy process. So, see, I have none coming out yet and I've sprayed about five times. So you just want to do it your two or three sprays with your new bottle. And it's going to fill up the bottom of your warmer with cleaner like this. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start at the top outer edges of your bowl. And the reason for this is because while you're scrubbing the edges, the inside of the bowl where it's actually the most residue is going to be soaking with the cleaner. And you really only need a couple seconds of soak time, so that's why it works out great. Because by the time you're finished scrubbing the edges and you get to the middle, it just requires a couple little scrubs like so and you just circle it around the dish apply a little bit of pressure and it is already spotless and ready to change so the reason that you want to do this every once in a while is because if you get too much residue build up in your warmer um, no matter how well you wipe it out with the cotton ball and no matter how much it appears you've gotten all of the wax, there's still going to be a fine coating. And that fine coating isn't going to affect your scent throw um, right away, but over time it's going to build up a layer and it's going to make it so that your scent won't throw as far and it won't last as long. So I recommend cleaning out your dish every fifth wax change. So that gives that's what I do and it's the perfect time. It gives it enough time that the residue is easy to wipe off. There's not usually much there. 
and um, sometimes there's none there, but I still do my clean, and because it keeps it fresh so that you know that you're going to be getting the best use out of your wax that you can. So of course you don't want to um, plug it directly in and start to warm your wax with the wet cleaner in there, so I'm just going to take another dry cotton ball and I'm just going to go over it and get, remove the excess cleaner. And if you wanted to get it extra clean, you could um, bring it to your sink or you could um, use a wet cloth and kind of wipe it clean, but it's not necessary. The cotton ball will get it all out. And then you're ready to put your new cube in there. So that's all for cleaning and that's all for plug-in warmers. Uh, the next type of warmer that I actually wanted to show you guys is our Silhouette Collection. And the reason that I'm choosing to uh, show this type as one of my three is because they are the most personalized warmers. They have the most variety. And there's also something that I need to point out about the lighter colored warmers. I'm going to point out uh, what I need to point out about the lighter colored warmers first. So keep in mind that this is not just the Silhouette Collection. This is any warmer that is white in color. So there's two things that are going to happen with your lighter colored warmer. Number one, it's always going to have a deeper dish than a darker colored warmer. So for an example, I have wax in here already, but I'll take it out and I'll show you how deep down it goes. And for an example, I have another white dish here and you can see how deep it goes. The reason for this is because, as you guys know, the darkness attracts the heat and it keeps it enclosed. So with your darker colored warmers, it's going to keep the heat in there um, relatively easy. And with the lighter colored warmers, it's actually harder to keep the heat in there without making the warmer uh, get fairly hot. So the thing with Scentsy is that we always want to keep things safe and we always want to make sure that our warmers aren't getting too hot. So the reason that we do the deeper dish is so that if you're actually grabbing your dishes, the corners aren't going to be too hot because the lighter colored warmers do need to get a little bit hotter than the darker colored warmers. So if you feel the outside of a plain white warmer, like for example an etched core silhouette warmer, it is going to be a lot more hot than if you were to touch um, your average warmer. So I don't like to say hot either. It's more warm. You can touch it. But you wouldn't want to like press your hand on there and hold it there for a long period of time. Um, now, uh, one thing I do want to point out though, is even though your warmer is getting a little bit hotter, the wax inside is never going to get any hotter and it's never going to get hot enough to burn or to cause any kind of harm. So I'm going to show you that I'm taking out my um, ooh, that's bright. taking out my dish here and I have completely hot wax in there, still liquid that I just put in there about 20 minutes before I started this video. And I'm going to show you how not hot this wax is on the inside. So I can put my finger completely in the wax and I can move it around and I'm not going to feel anything. And as soon as I take my finger out, the wax just instantly hardens on there and does a little coating like that. And you can easily just pull the wax off, throw it in the garbage, and that's all that's going to happen. So if you have a little, a younger child, or a clumsy pet, or anything, and you're worried about your cat getting their tail in the wax, or your child touching it, or knocking it over, or anything like that, you don't have to worry because even if they do get the wax on them, it's not going to cause any harm. So that's the case with all of our warmers. And with every other warmer except for the plain white warmers, the lighter colored warmers, the outside of your warmer isn't going to get at hot at all either. Like you'll be able to pick it up and carry it around while it's on and it's just going to feel like the outside of a lamp does. But these do get a little bit hotter. So that's the point that I wanted to mention. Um, even though they do get a little bit hotter though, it's, like I said, nothing to worry about and they're still um, perfectly fine warmers and if you like the look of 
the lighter style in your home, then you can still get one of these warmers and it's going to do the trick. But I did just want to mention that just in case you're wondering why it feels a little bit hotter or why your dishes are so close to the ball. So this is the etched core silhouette warmer and we have two silhouette warmers to choose from and I'm going to throw up a picture of the other one we have. And this is called the travertine warmer and it is the other option that we have. And it does the same thing as this etched core. So the beautiful thing about the silhouette warmers is that they are not just the warmer. When you purchase your silhouette warmer, you have the option to get your first wrap relatively discounted. And then in the future, whenever you want to switch up your look, there's additional wraps available for only $14 Canadian um, each. So you can purchase different wraps to interchange. And I just grabbed these two because this is the one that I've been using on it and this is the one that I used um, throughout the holiday season. So as you can see it has the little deers on it and it is um, a nice winter decor. So I had this on my warmer throughout the winter while I was um, celebrating Christmas and all that stuff. And as soon as the weather started to get a little bit warmer, I switched it up to my elm tree wrap because I like to use the elm tree year round. Now, we did just release um, a beautiful wrap called the Spring Creek, which I'm gonna throw up a picture of. And I'm definitely gonna need to get that. So my elm tree wrap is gonna be put away for the spring months, once spring actually comes. I haven't ordered mine yet, but it's going to be my next, um, within my next order for warmers. So this is the elm tree wrap, and it's what I've been using on this warmer for the last couple weeks. And these are all of our current available wraps. These are the catalog wraps. These ones are $14 and they are the ones that are featured in our current season lineup. And then we also have quite a few wraps available in our sales section for a discounted price. Now these are only available until they do sell out, but as you can see, there's quite a variety of wraps in there as well, and they are $11.20 plus shipping and tax. Those are $14 Canadian for just the wraps. And if you're interested in getting a warmer and a wrap, it's $48 plus shipping and tax for both. So that covers our silhouette collection in person. The next section I'm gonna go over is what we call now the $56 warmers. And I have here the Calavera, which was new last season, fall and winter, and it is brand new in Australia this season. So this is the Calavera warmer, and I wanted to show a bit of a size comparison and a detail comparison, uh, and that is why I chose these, because these are the most expensive warmers, and they used to be just lampshades. So it would be a lampshade. Um, I have my quill shade upstairs, which I'll throw a picture of that, and I'll throw up a picture of the other lampshade collection warmers that we have. But um, those are the most expensive. And recently, I think that's why we've changed our names, because a lot of the categories have been merging together because of detail and quality and size. So this one is very detailed. It's very big, and the paint job is absolutely gorgeous. So they weren't going to put this in a premium or a deluxe collection. They had to kind of step up their game and put it in with what we called then the lampshades. And I think that's why this season we've changed it just to titles. Like not only this, but there's also a couple that are heated with elements that are now premium warmers and things like that. 
So we've switched up our names to just go by the pricing so it makes it a lot easier. When you see this, you know, okay, that's one of the most detailed. It's from our lampshade collection. It's at the top of the list. And that's kind of why. Now that is really the only difference between our $56 warmers and our lower priced warmers now. Like I said, it used to be the shape. It used to be that the lampshades, they, they're bigger. They have the different uh, shaped bowls. They look different style. But like I said, now that we have this one added into the category, it's safe to say that it's going to start to gravitate towards them. Really detailed warmers are going to be in the $56 warmer section. Um, the other two sections of warmers, well, I guess there's quite a few. Right now we have $30 warmers, $36 warmers, $24 warmers, which are the plug-ins, um, the $42 warmers, uh, for $48 warmers, and then, of course, we have the $56 warmers like these. Now, they used to be broken up into deluxe, premium, lampshade, plug-in, element warmers, but like I said, the categories started to merge. So the only real difference now with the categories is the price and the quality, detail, and sizing. So when we start from the bottom and we have the plug-in or now called $24 warmers, which I went over. Those are the cheapest ones, and um, those are pretty straightforward what the difference is between the plugins and the other warmers for smaller space. They plug into an outlet directly rather than with a cord, and uh, a couple things like that. So the next step up, we have what used to be the element warmers, and they're now broken up into 30 and $36 warmers, and they are heated with elements instead of bulbs. Now the Calavera is a bulb heated warmer as well. That's a question that was asked by a lot of people before it was made public what it is. So the Calavera is not an element heated warmer. It does require a bulb. My bulb's actually burnt out in Calavera right now, so that's why I have my wax still hardened in there and haven't worried about it. So that's this, the cheaper options that you have. So like I said, the elements used to be just anything that was heated with an element instead of a bulb, but now we have a whole bunch of our uh, higher quality warmers which are heated with elements instead of bulbs, and so like I said, they've changed that. So when you get into what used to be the deluxe is now the $42 warmer, and those ones are just your standard um, plain size, it would be the same size as your silhouette, and it is just your standard warmer with standard quality. And then when you move up to premium, you have your bigger sized warmers with your really detailed paint jobs. Um, it would just be a step down from the lampshade paint jobs, and they are the bigger ones that require usually a 20 or 25 watt ball. So those are your warmer types. And um, when you want to decide which type of warmer you want to get, the thing that you're going to want to go with is your style preference. You're going to want to look for the warmer that looks the nicest in the area that you're going to want to put it in. You're going to want to look for a warmer that fits your price range. And you're also going to want to look for a warmer that is going to fill the area that you're using it for. So if you're going to be filling up a whole open area like a living room or a main area of a house, you're not going to want to put a plug-in in there because yes it is going to scent the room but the scent isn't going to go as far and it's not going to be as strong and concentrated in the area as it would be if you use the plug-in for um, a smaller area. Now another good reason that you would want a plug-in is if you're using it in a room where you actually want to utilize the, the light in it. So there's people who actually buy Scentsy plugins like this, and they literally just use them as a light. They don't even put wax in it. So I know um, I have a customer in specific who bought a nightlight warmer from me uh, last season, the You Are My Sunshine warmer, just because she liked the You Are My Sunshine quote. She sang it to her kids, and she put it in her bathroom, but she's allergic to scents strongly, so she doesn't use anything um, that has sense. So she still purchased a warmer from me and she's actually a loyal customer. She buys my odor out laundry soap because she likes the quality of the odor out laundry soap and because she can't handle strong scent and she doesn't like the fragrance free laundry stuff from Glade and other companies like that. So that's basically the 411 on warmers. 
And I'm going to just quickly put up a picture of each category and what's available in those categories so that you can actually see what we have to offer. If you're looking to browse and shop, you can find my website in the description. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask me in the comments. And if you want help picking out your first warmer or your next warmer, then also let me know in the comments and I'll do a video that's more based on how to pick your warmer. The first section is the $24 warmers and they are in alphabetical order here on my website and it shows a graphic of each one so it's the easiest way for me to just kind of scroll through and show them all. So from left to right here we have the Adelaide, Believe, Blackberry, Charity, the Chasing Fireflies, which I featured in the video, Cranberry Glass, Cream Glass, Crinkle, Damsel, Frosted Lilac, Georgian, Heartfelt, Italian Rooster, Jane, Key Largo, Lace and Hope, Mossy Oak, in the pink and then in the standard, Ribbon Sunset, Rustic Star, Sand Dollar, Seashells, Silver Vine, Tea Rose, Talia, Once Upon a Star, Vintage, Wake Up and Be Awesome, Hoot, and You Are My Sunshine. So these are our four $30 warmers. We have the Black Zebra, Love, Songbird, and Zen Rock. So these ones are heated with an element and they are our standard, what used to be called element warmers. Here we have what used to be called the Deluxe and they're now called the $36 warmers. And we have the Ala Blaster, which is a new release, Angora, Antique Cross, Boho Chic, Charity, Classic Satin Black, Doodle Dot, the Etched Core, which I featured in the video, the Fitzgerald, Flurry, Flutter, Goldsmith, Grapevine, Green Marble, Hit a Glue, Isabella, and this is one of the ones that I was referring to when I said that um, some of our other warmers and other categories are now heated with elements as well. So we have this one and this one and this one. Metalworks, Moroccan, Paris. Red Marble, Sea Urchin, Vitalia in full size, Zebra, and our new Zuni. So here's what used to be called the Premium Warmers, now called the $42 Warmers. And we have the Aspen Grove, Bailey, Chasing Fireflies in the standard size, Cork, Pokey Pokey, Jane, Live Simply, Lone Star, Madame Butterfly, Mossy Oak in the full size, just the standard color. Our pink one has retired. No Place Like Home, Petal Purple, Rock Balance, Service and Sacrifice. Here's the Travertine Core that I featured in the video. Urban Luster, Vintage Teapot, Hoot in the Full Size, and Yukon. Now we get into our $48 warmers, and we have the Do-It-Yourself Calavera Warmer, which comes blank, and it is similar to the Calavera Warmer that I showed you in the video, only you get to actually draw your own design with permanent marker. 
And then we have the etched core with a wrap, which is in the $48 warmer section because it comes to $48. We have our new mean door, nest, our charity piece by piece full size warmer, and $9.50 for every, or it could actually be more than that, but at least $9.50 of each purchase goes to the Autism Speaks Foundation and I'll make sure that I find out exactly what it is that's donated and I'll put that in the description. Then we have the Travertine with a wrap which is the other warmer that I featured in this video, the Silhouette Collection. And then we have the Watermelon. I'm going to take the time to apologize before I start anything for my mistake in the beginning of the video when I was referring to our lampshade collection and I called it the $56 warmers. They are actually $54 warmers. So they're $2 cheaper than what I had been referring to. And so I do apologize. So these are our lampshade warmers. And we have the amber floated shade, the amber ombre shade, one of our kids warmers is the Arg Matey Lampshade Warmer, Blue Diamond, Charmer, the Cream Diamond, the Cream Tulip, Lucent, Ocean Mosaic, Parlor, Quill, which is the one that I was talking about that I have upstairs, Sea Foam Floated, and the under the sea kids warmer in the lampshade style. And lastly, we have four warmers that are $66 in price. Our new Buddy's Arc warmer is actually in the $66 price range, and that's because of the detail, and it uses an element to heat as well. But before this season, our $66 warmers were just the LED section, which is these three that you see here. And the special thing about the LED warmers is that they actually cycle through colors. So the color that you see here isn't the color that it's actually going to remain. When you turn it on, it's going to start at this color and then it's going to cycle through all the colors of the rainbow, like a neon pink and neon green, neon purple and neon blue etc etc all the way through. For our LED art glass warmers we have Lyric, Moonstone, and Tiger's Eye. And just a quick reminder that any warmer that you are thinking about purchasing does have a combine and save package so that you can add your wax or add a second warmer and one or a few of the products will be lowered in price.